All right, now to move on to our next couple, Cynthia and her date, Mark. Now, Cynthia says that she's athletic, adventurous, and goofy. Mark says that he's quite spiritual and that he has some very special talents. He says he can communicate with, and stay with me on this, animals and angels. Oh, I know, I gotta hear more. I'm my favorite person, so I love anybody who's like me. I, I have a communication situation going on with angels. There's violence, there's, there's death, there's destruction, there's murder. Well, a lot of that is the same with dating. And on that cheerful note, let's wish these two luck. I have a hunch they're going to need it. God nice bless you. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. Okay. Good. I brought you a present. Oh, uh, wait. I Go ahead. Thank this you. is a little, um, it's a good luck bamboo. It comes in threes, so it's for health, happiness, and uh, good luck. So good luck. Beautiful. I, although I don't believe in luck, I'll consider it a blessing. All now righty. I have something for you. First of all, I want you to know God loves you very okay. much. Second of all, I love you all very right. much. All right. And this present is for you, the greatest man who ever lived. So oh, cool. should I not meet up to expectations. Next, I want to give you this present. It's a little for after. It's a little um, ministry I have on the internet. Next thing I want to do is give you this present. Uh-uh. Well, because <laughs> it gets cold later. And... When did you become a born again? I changed when I gave up. You know, I used to be a booze bag, so I gave all that up. And I used to chase too many women and do a lot of drugs and bad things like that. So the Lord saved my life. I'm a miracle. Here, hold my So hand. you don't do, hey, hand, you right don't do women, drugs, hey, and meat you saw, anymore? You saw a miracle right that, there. Wait, wait, that's let's right. backtrack. Nope. You don't do women, uh, Amen. women that's right. meat, and no. drugs anymore? I love you, I love you, I love you. But I'm now living a, thank God, a celebrated lifestyle. So what's your, what's your take on women? How come you're not married? I have to break up with myself to be married. <laughs> <laughs> I can't break up with myself yet. Hey! Beautiful pigeon. A beautiful pigeon. God loves you, and I love you as well. Good luck, Mark. God bless you. Welcome back to the show. Now, before the break, we watched Cynthia spend some one on one time with the very spiritual Mark. First, they went to the pier, and he watched her feed the seals. Then, they went to a restaurant where he watched her feed herself. But were they the answer to each other's prayers? I'm thinking no. I have to spend a little prayerful time alone with the Lord, and he'll let me know if this was my last day. Roger Lodge, God loves you. I love you. I love you, too. And I'll be seeing more of you when we come back. I want you to know God loves you. Hey, look who's back to spread the word. You look like my favorite person. <laughs> me. Will his second chance date be a highway to heaven? God, God please do something. He will. Shut up. Hey. Up next. Oh, your smile is beautiful. More teeth than a chainsaw. That's next. All right, for our next date, you might remember Mark from his first time on our show. Let's just say he may have been a bit much for his date, Cynthia. First of all, I want you to know God loves you. Oh, come on, that's disgusting. <laughs> Second of all, I love you. Have I been born again? Absolutely. Amen. Stop. Then the no, story. Stop. Beautiful. Now just stop. Story. No more religious stuff, please. Well, today we're giving Mark a second chance. So let's meet his next victim. I mean, lucky date, Christabel. Now she asked us to find her a kind, creative guy. And she could be exactly what Mark's looking for. Men think that I am an angel. Oh, you talk about your matches made in heaven. Have fun, my children. Hello. My name is Mark Anthony. Mark and you Anthony. are. Hi. What is your name? Christabella. Hi. Christabella, it's nice to Mark meet you. Mark Anthony is my favorite name. As a matter of fact, Christabella is one of my most favorite names. And you're as beautiful as your name, and it's very nice to meet you. 
So, are you ready to go out somewhere and have a, a fun, enlightening, and entertaining time? Of course. Oh, okay, very good. And I love your smile. It's beautiful. More teeth than a chainsaw. Very pretty. No, that's good. <laughs> Girls say two things when they go after a date with me. They either say, Mark Anthony, I've never done that before, or they say, Mark Anthony, I'm never doing that again. That's <laughs> so we'll see that by the end of the evening which one this is. <laughs> I would do anything for you as I would for anybody. I love you and I love the time that we spent together. So good night. And I love just the way you say I thank love you. you. I do. I love you. I love you. I love everybody. The guy never shut up, ever. Amazing. I swam with dolphins in the middle of the sea. I, I kissed a, 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 a squirrel. I've had a, 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 a mouse as a best friend. I've had birds land on my arm. I'm telling you, it's the best thing you can ever God, have. please do something. He will. Shut, shut up. up. <laughs> Amen, sister. All right, so Mark may have toned down his preaching on his second chance date, but will he and Christabel be getting together anytime soon? Not a prayer. I don't think that I have a soulmate out there. I think God is, you know, destined for me just to work things out between he and I alone. Today on Blind Date. I love that. Christiana's my favorite name. We're fixing up all stars. How about Adam and Eve in a red dress? He preaches about temptation. If you don't find the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to hell. Will she be tempted to knock him out? Let's leave God out of it for just well. a five minutes, please. <laughs> all right, for our next date, we're bringing back a couple of Blind Date all stars to see if they can find the romance they missed out on the first time around. Meet Christiana and Mark, a kind man who walks on the spiritual side. First of all, I want you to know God loves you. God's given me a lot of work. Nobody's at the level of Jesus. Oh, I've had a, a, a mouse as a best friend. She looks like my favorite person. Cool. Me. <laughs> well, if ever a date needed divine intervention, I think it's this one. Let's all say a quick prayer for Marky. <laughs> Instead, he said, love me. He said, love me with all your heart and then love your fellow man. No more religious stuff, please. Shut up! How are you? Whoa, terrible. How are you? <laughs> Mike, Mark Anthony. Oh, nice to meet you. Mark this Anthony. is rude. Let me. What? Sorry, Mark Anthony. <laughs> yeah, Christiana. Means the Christiana, nice to meet you. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> I love that. Christiana's my favorite name. Yeah. Man, let's hope that on the inside you're just as beautiful. You seem very friendly. You haven't left yet. So, <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Christiana and her spiritual side or her heart or what's really, you know, her understanding of God or her understanding of how she was created or her being. Please. To tell you the truth, I don't, I don't really, you know, practice religion that much. I choreograph floor shows for cabaret, and I want to give you guys a duet to learn some choreography and do a little cabaret show. You guys okay, down for that? Well, I don't know. Sounds Wait good. a minute. I mean, we just had a nice talk in the van and a nice spiritually minded talk, so I'm, you know, I don't know how I feel about all this. I think we need to break them down. Wacky how about Seth, and pose. <laughs> Listen, I love you and I love her. I'm using wisdom to say, well, God sees your heart. I want to see your heart. I don't want to see your naked body. Listen, I love you, but if you, if you don't find the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to hell. About spiritually, okay. you know what? Spiritually, spiritually, I've been married, I've, and I have kids, and I've been through divorce, and I've been through death, you, you, and I've been through tragedies in my life. I love you, but you're life. lacking spiritually, and that's why you're having divorce, and that's why your kids are, are being, you know, raised in a single mother family and getting some misdirection. Misdirection? Yes. Yeah. Oh, now Mark's 0 for 3 on our show. Well, maybe dating's not his thing.